Today we're jumping into Nomad Sculpt and we are designing a hinge joint that is perfect for articulating parts. Now this can be used for anything from an action figure to a robot to anything that needs a moving part. <laughs> I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It and today I'm showing you how to build a hinge joint in Nomad Sculpt step by step. We're going to go through each of the details you'll need to create an articulating hinge joint for whatever you're building. And we're going to go through it step by step showing you how to create a hinge joint for anything you may want to 3D model and print. Now let's get started, but before we do that, make sure you like and follow for other 3D modeling and 3D printing tutorials. We're gonna open up Nomad Sculpt and we're gonna add a new primitive and that is gonna be a cylinder. So we're gonna size the cylinder to the height we think is appropriate for our hinge. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the radius of it about 10% of the height of the actual perimeter. Now you could do this in any thickness you really want, but that's what we're doing this one. Once we have that set, what we're gonna do is we're going to clone that cylinder and we're gonna make it slightly thinner. We're gonna keep it in line with the current cylinder and we're gonna clone this one more time. Now this one, we're gonna shrink down because this is where we're gonna cut away our space so that way the hinge joint could rotate. And we're just making this whatever height we want. We're gonna actually add two of those, but you could actually do this with just one cutaway if that's what you wanted. Now, as you can see here, this is what our cutaway is gonna look like. Again, so I'm just measuring the distance to make sure it looks good. So now I'm going to highlight these. I'm going to leave the two cutaway visually off. And when I do a voxel remesh, it will actually remove the sections. Now we need to make some space for the center cylinder to be able to spin. So what we're going to do is we're going to clone the cylinder again. And once we feel it looks good and there's enough space, we're going to make it slightly higher, extending out past the original cylinder's height both at the top and at the bottom. So once that's done and we're comfortable with what it looks like, we're gonna do another voxel remesh and it's gonna remove our space so therefore our center cylinder can rotate inside of the main cylinder. Now all we have to do is add the parts. So for instance, we're just gonna put some cubes here. They're gonna act as our hinge sides. Now think about it this way. This could be the knee, or the elbow joint of an articulating uh, action figure or a 3D model. Hinge joints work really well for that, or even like a waist, if you have something bending at the waist. And what we're doing here with our hinge is we're just putting the main piece, the bigger piece on the main body. And when we have the two cutaways, we're going to add another hinge piece. We're gonna do that by making two squares that connect to the center uh, cylinder. And then we're going to connect it to the main piece, which is the bigger piece we want to connect it to. And that's going to create our hinge joint. Now let's get this printed. This video is part of our Art of Articulation series. The links to the other videos are in the description. And that's it. Now you have a working hinge joint that you could use for any of your 3D models or 3D prints. For more on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making.